What is up everybody? My name is Pilarius and today we are playing another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. This is a special episode because we are starting finally season 2 and I've got 5 extra story tickets which is nice because they were kind of skipping me on story tickets. We couldn't really make a long season long episode. So we are on season 2 Rika vs Mayu. And like I said, and like all you all said, we should go for Mayu. I kind of had that in, in my heart. And so that's what we're going to try to do. And hopefully by the end of the season, we get that special ending. So this is Season 2, Chapter 1, The Secret Life of Mayu. So ever since I moved to this school, lots of things have taken place. They sure have. My life should have been ordinary, but that didn't really happen. Friendship, effort, victory, I encountered all sorts of things. And eventually our Ninja Seekers Club was born. They're a strange bunch, but I feel like I have a lot of fun with them. At least that's how I began to feel. Uh, every time the story stops, or the, not the story, every time the music stops. No, wait, stop. Okay, calm down. Is this a dream? A hallucination? Let's look at the reality. Rabbit? <laughs> Be quiet. Rabbits don't talk. I try my best to calm myself down right now. My, my. You are a stubborn one. Well, use your time however you like. I don't intend to fight with you. Whether you feel the same, I don't know. Why would I fight a rabbit? What a pretentious and annoying attitude. Are all rabbits like this? Anyway, getting mad at animals isn't very cool to be honest. Very true. Let's try and compose myself like a human being. Okay, tell me what's going on. Oh, are you okay now? Maybe you're a little sharper than I thought at first glance. Is this guy trying to start a fight or something? It looks like I have it looks like I have to have a frank conversation with you at least once. Just calm down. I'll explain everything to you. Are you going to listen? Why do I have to sit and listen to some mystery animal talk? If I were to talk about ninjas, you would understand what I'm talking about, right? Especially someone like you. What? Didn't expect him to say that. I'm lost for words. Just, what does this rabbit know? What does he know? I leave Mayu sleeping in the chair in the room and turn back towards the rabbit. What? So who are you? What exactly is it that you think you know? I am foo. <laughs> And I'm no ordinary rabbit. As you can see, I'm a familiar... Do you understand now? A familiar? Could you be my use familiar by any chance? What? Yep, I'm sure you've put the rest of the pieces together by now. Mayu, Mayu is also a ninja. What? Just like you, right? Why? How do you... You shouldn't take me lightly. Though it looks like Mayu Mayu didn't notice. <laughs> Don't worry, I have absolutely no intention of exposing what you really are. On top of that, me and Mayu Mayu <laughs> are also a secret. Since I told you that, we're even, right? I suppose. No, it's still too early to trust him. I don't think he's the type of animal who'd be so nice as to share a secret just because he felt sorry to have discovered mine. I'm no fool. What do you want? I'm sure there's some terms involved, whatever it is. As I thought. Thanks for speeding this along, actually. Gulp. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Murmured Mayu as she woke up at just the right time. Now it's time to start Season 2, Chapter 1, Part 2 of 11. <laughs> Maybe we should go to Rika. This is weird. No, let's we'll still stay with Mayu. Oh, you're awake. Good morning, how are you feeling? You're as clumsy as usual. And you like to sleep in, right, Mayu Mayu? Good morning, Senpai Fu. Eh, what? Huh? P Senpai? And Fu Senpai? Why? I asked you not to talk to anybody else. Ah, actually, I heard everything from this rabbit just now. I it's not true. <laughs> huh? This is something that I use... This is something that I use in my... Pantomime. Oh, pantomime. Jeez. Cannot read. I don't think so. 
until just now you were completely out of it. It's still not true. Mayu looks like she's about to cry. It's almost as if, as if I'm bullying her. <laughs> I'm not bullying her. If I were to believe that rabbit, I don't think he would antagonize me or reveal my true identity. In any case, I don't think that Mayu has it in her to scheme and try to use me. That's very true. It can't be helped. At this rate, the conversation is going nowhere. I need the rabbit to finish what he was saying anyways. Listen up, Mayu. I'm also actually a ninja. A ninja? But I'm not... Well, what? You still don't believe me? How about if I do this? Backflip! <laughs> <laughs> what? You disappeared. Where are you, senpai? Over here. <laughs> what? My voice calls to Mayu from the roof I'm clinging to. After seeing the surprised look on her face, I jump down. Right, believe me now? Yes? What? So I wonder what happens from now. Does Mayu even believe me in the first place? So you are a ninja too? Sigh. Amazing. It's not a look of doubt that she's giving me, rather a look of envy. That is mostly definitely a face that believes what I'm saying. <laughs> On one hand, I appreciate what an obedient girl she is. On the other, I'm a little worried. I hope she doesn't get her money swindled out of herself or anything. What? Well, I do understand how you're feeling. I'm here for those sort of times. Oh, uh, Fu? Hey, Fu Senpai! Please stop saying such strange, strange things. I see. Well, glad everything's alright with you, Mayu. This thing seems to be more of a guardian than a familiar. I suppose that doesn't matter, though. Look, I'm sorry to say this after you just started to believe me, but me and this rabbit have some unfinished business. Business? What kind of business? Foo Senpai? <laughs> Naturally, it's also about your exa. Why are you talking about that? I told you that I had to achieve that all by myself. As she talks, Mayu covers the mouth of the rabbit. <laughs> Oof! Uh, come on, how many days has it been since you came to this school? Now it's time to start Season 2, Chapter 1, Part 3 of 10. 11. God, 11 chapters? Jeez. Around two weeks. That's what I was going to say. And in that time, what have you achieved? Saying you can do this on your own. You're very good at being pretentious. Sob. Hold on, just calm down. Mayu like, looks like she's about to cry. First up, what is this exam exactly? <laughs> the, that's... Maybe it's a delicate matter. Mayu seems to be lost for words. I think we're all lost for words. Mayu, Mayu is still only half a ninja. What? It might be more appropriate to call her an apprentice ninja. <laughs> now she's in the middle of her exam to become a full-fledged ninja. That's why she came to the school. Okay, I see. The school principal has connections with lots of different ninja villages. I dare say that Mayu's village is one of them. He must have permitted her transfer to the school for a village's final ninja apprentices exam. <laughs> the problem is the content of that exam. And this exam, what exactly are you being made to do for it? I'm searching for a scroll called the Beast Seal Scroll, which is somewhere in the school. Whoa. Once I find that, I can finally become a full-fledged ninja. In this school, isn't this school kind of huge? That's going to take a lot of work. I think I've got a grasp on what's going to go on, though. To put it bluntly, I guess they want me to help. Now I know your story. And the music stopped again. As I am deep in thought, a mysterious shadow suddenly jumps down from above the ceiling. What? Oh, new music. Hey, Rika. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Rika, senpai? How come? As you can see, I'm a ninja too. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> Mayu turns her face of shock towards me as I silently nod. Her eyes get wider and wider. I am quite surprised myself as well, though I knew that Rika was watching the whole time. Did we really? Blowing your identity so easily? What's even the point? There's no way that she would just appear without thinking it through. I have a good idea. Really? Well, let's hear it then. Mayu, I will help you with your exam. Oh, 
Wait, what? Hang on a second. Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> I will help. I've already decided. I don't intend to listen to whatever it is that you have to say. Jeez, Rika. Well, I think this might work too. I don't want any boys to get too close to Mayu Mayu anyway. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no, you guys. Rika helping Mayu is bound to invite danger somehow. They're both from different villages. In other words, rivals for business. Why is she helping a rookie with her training? Oh, now it's time to start part 4 of 11. It looks like Rika has made a firm decision, though. She's looking at Mayu with unusually firm eyes. <laughs> Sigh. I guess there's nothing else for it. P, Senpai? Three pairs of hands will get the job done faster than two. Let's get it sorted already. Isn't there four pairs of hands? But that's... We're Ronin ninjas anyway. It's not as if we have to follow all the professional ninja rules. And if she deserve, if she's discovered by anyway, I can be a scapegoat for Rika. I'll help too. But but, so we're looking for a scroll. Of course, there's no way that we can reveal that we're ninjas. But if we're just looking for a scroll, if we said that this was part of the Ninja Seekers Club activities, then I'm sure other members would also come to help. It might be better if we can get everyone else to help out. I'm sure that Johnny would jump for the opportunity. We can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, this is my problem. I shouldn't involve you. I've already revealed myself to you two who are also ninjas, but asking people who aren't ninjas, maybe it's because we are her senpai or because of her personality, but Mayu seems to be hesitating to take up on our offer. Let's get her to relax a little. Uh, Leave it to me. It's fine. Leave it to me. S senpai. I'm not sure. Can you really be any of, of any help? Hey, weren't you the one that called me? Because many hands make lights make light work. Foo, senpai. You can't say anything mean to P. Senpai. He's so amazing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Mayu's really backing me up there. Hmm, well, anything's fine as long as it helps in some way. It looks like Fu is finally on board, but Mayu lowers her gaze to the floor and begins to fidget. But, but, is it really okay to involve my senpai when this is my problem to figure out? What are you talking about? We're well past that stage now. <laughs> I, uh, I put my hand on Mayu's head and stroke it. <laughs> <laughs> what? How, 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're friends, right? You don't need to get upset. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, Rika. Although Rika says nothing, she's silently nodding. Or jealous. <laughs> right, let's get to it. Right, we'll all look together. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. Ah, uh, wait a second. What? Oh, yeah! One inch closer to Mayu! Look at that little tiny piece! <laughs> well, at least we're doing good so far. And it's time to start part 5 of 11. Hey, guys! Sorry for being late! Oh, that was Akari. I thought that was John. <laughs> Yeehaw! Sorry for making you guys wait. Actually, we weren't waiting for you. Oh, burn! What? What happened? Hmm, are you up to something interesting? One by one, they all come in. It looks like there's no way we can search for it now. And since Mayu doesn't want anyone else to know, for now, I guess I'll say... Oh, it's nothing, right? That's right, we're just chatting. Hee <laughs> hee! Yes, nothing strange here. <laughs> hmm, something seems fishy. Nope, nothing fishy here. No, something must be up. Hanging out with two cute girls behind closed doors? There's no way that nothing is going on. <laughs> Just what did you think was supposed to happen in such a short amount of time? Well, like what happens when you put a male and a female mouse in a cage? You're gross. <laughs> you really should get your head out of the gutter, really. Well, leaving the jokes aside, what were you up to? We were just talking about how late you guys are. That's alright, isn't it? More importantly, 
Today is a special day, isn't it, Akari? Everyone has gathered, so sort us all out, manager. To dodge any further questioning, I force Akari to speak. Oh, me? Of course you. Come on, manager. Manager, well, I guess so. Great, she's taking the bait. <laughs> Akari clears her throat with a cough and stands before us. <clears throat> so, our first meeting. It's time for the Ninja Seekers Club to get to work. Yas! Yay! Thanks for your welcoming words. So, about our club activities. What do you think we should do? And the music stops. Huh? My mouth hangs wide open. Don't tell me she doesn't have any idea what she wants to do. Ha ha ha. Sorry, sorry. It's just that we haven't done anything as a club yet. Ha. The only thing we shouldn't do is go on a wild goose chase for ninjas. Oh, John. I agree, but I'm annoyed that it was you that came out with such a sound argument. Yeah, let's just binge drink. Sigh. As she listens to us, Inju cradles her head and lets out a sigh. First of all, we shouldn't decide on a schedule. We should decide on a schedule. I'll make a note of it. Yay! Now it's time to start season two, chapter one, part six of eleven. Ooh! Use our free story ticket. Ah, good thinking. Akari points at Enju. Theatrically, Enju kicks things off lightly. She certainly knows how to handle Akari. Great. Then let's decide the schedule for the year. <laughs> for the year? Anyone have any ideas what we want to do? I do. Wow, always a cheerful one, Yanabuki. Go ahead. A cosplay party based on the seasons. For spring? Rejected. <laughs> Why? And how come you can decide that? Shouldn't we talk about this stuff first? Even if there was a debate, it would get rejected. What does it even have to do with our club activities? Hmm, fine. It would be more fun if it happened all of a sudden anyway. Cosplay? Cute clothes? Oh. Are you interested, Rika? I'm in... T Never mind. <laughs> hmm, well let's think about that later. Firstly, we should decide on some ninja-themed activities, right? So... Here. What? What is it, Tenge-san? I think that in order to search for ninjas, we first have to become like ninjas. Hmm, I suppose so. If you don't try jumping into the ocean, you'll never find any fish. <laughs> Where did that parable come from? So... Wouldn't it be best to try training as ninjas? So, for example, yes, female ninjas have seducing techniques. Oh no! Is that all you ever think about? Hey, I think it's important. You'll be able to become a sexy woman. You'll become a more mature feminine woman. <laughs> no way. Oh, we'll be more mature and sexy? <laughs> oh, I know. If it's training you're after, I saw something good on the net. Make a seal with your fingers like this. I thought you were in charge of this one. Hmm, yeah, I guess. Johnny, please be quiet. You're getting in the way. <laughs> when is he not getting in the way? Ah, uh, whatever you say, Mom. Oh, what? Hmm, it's really hard to bring together any ideas. Oh, how about you, P? Do you have anything for Ninja Seekers Club activities? Huh, me? I thought we were going to look for the scroll. Let's see, what are we going to be if we cosplay? Why don't you try the, the seducing techniques? And what are we going to be if we do cosplay? Yamabuki, what do you plan to do if we cosplay? Dot dot dot! Oh, you want to ask? Did I pique your interest? Not really, but I think someone wants to, whatever. What kind of costumes are you thinking we should wear? Well, I have everything from cute idol clothes to the latest hot anime costumes. Cute clothes? Do you have anything indecent? Yep. <laughs> then great. That's not great at all. <laughs> oh no! We went the other way. How the hell did we do that? Now it's time to start part 7 of 11. And we should be able to finish this out because that should be my fourth free ticket. 
And then, after several minutes of debate in conscious complaining, <laughs> get a grip, you all. Hey, Andrew's angry. Sigh. Time's up. Look at the clock. Call it a day, Akari. Okay, but it was fun and important to exercise. Thanks for your input, everyone. The Congress dances, but it does not sigh progress. Well, whatever. Are you sure about this? We didn't really decide on anything in the end. We never decide on anything, ever! <laughs> I'm fine. I made a note of all the ideas that were raised anyway. I'll try and pick out the more sane ideas from these. Even though she was busy keeping everyone on the straight and narrow, she was able to properly take notes. That's Enju for you. I don't have the energy to be the voice of reason anymore. Sigh. I guess it's time to go home. Phew! I worked up a bit of a sweat. What did you do, John? I'm sure you haven't done anything that would do that. <laughs> so, shall we head home? Let's go back together. Yes, okay. Ah, sorry. I'm going to pass. I have some student council things to do. Oh, and you. Unfortunately, I'll be unable to join you either. I see. Well, shall the six of us go home together? Home? Huh? I immediately exchanged looks with Rika and Mayu. They understood my intentions and nod. <laughs> Akari, I'll take care of the key. I should return this to the teacher's room, right? Really? Okay, thanks. No worries. As a vice manager, I haven't really done much, so I should at least do this. I got the key. I feel awkward deceiving her like this, but since this is secret business, there is no helping it. Then I'm leaving it up to you, Mr. Vice Manager. Got it, Miss Manager. <laughs> Akari heads out into the corridor with the other members. Ooh. Ah, that's right. Enju pipes up as if she had just remembered something. Lately, there has been a lot of handbag snatching in this area. It looks like it's all down to the same person. I thought about telling you all to be careful, but then again, I don't think anyone would attack a group of such odd people. <laughs> Enju, you're so mean. You're saying that to such a weak and beautiful group of young maidens. Boo hoo! Well, at the very least, you have two guys ready to put their lives on the line and protect you, right? Right! <laughs> You're safe in my hands. I'll let you see the true power of my correspondence course, karate. Um, Enju, I don't think you were right. <laughs> anyway, be careful. See you. See you tomorrow, Enju. Okay, see you tomorrow. Then, see you later. Now it's time to start part 8 of 11. Yes, use the story ticket. Once send you and Tenge leave, I speak to the remaining members. Okay, I'll lock, up. I'll lock up and take the key to the teacher's room. Okay, thanks. I think it will take some time, so don't wait up. And if you've forgotten something, you should come back quickly. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. Ha ha, I don't forget things, so see you tomorrow. Yep, see you. And with that, I break away from the other five members. Once I check that the coast is clear, I reopen the door to the old second warehouse. <gasps> I don't think that I need to be too vigilant. As I take a seat and begin my wait, Mayu opens the door and sinks back into the room. Sorry for making you wait, senpai. And from behind, almost like a shadow, comes Rika. Don't worry, nobody's on my tail. In normal schools, people don't follow anyone. <laughs> well, apart from me, when Rika is after me. Ah, finally, I can speak again. <laughs> you really do talk, don't you? Of course I do. Do you know what you're saying? What would you do if I couldn't speak? You would never have gotten a decent explanation with Mayu Mayu's non-existent level of understanding. How mean! <laughs> what? Is it because you're a rabbit that you have such a dirty mouth? <laughs> When you have a master that cannot take care of herself, you do tend to become like this. Well, let's not get into that. So, about this scroll that you will be helping us find. It should be around 8 inches long. The thickness should be a little bigger than the pipes of that pipe chair. It's quite an old scroll from several hundred years ago, so you should know it when you see it. Hmm, as an antique, it seems like it would fetch quite a high price. Oh yeah? It was a joke. I never thought I would see the day when I would get stared down by a rabbit. <laughs> Life is full of surprises. 
So, shall we start looking? Did you get all that as well, Rika? No problem. If I have a question, I will ask it. Now it's time to start part 9 of 11. And yes, we'll re use the ticket to proceed. I see, I see. Very good of you. Hmm, why are you treating me like a child? Did you get that too, Mayu Mayu? I get it. I knew everything from the start. Yes, but sometimes I do worry. I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, we get it. Calm down. Now, I use my eyes to scan the entire room. Even though we had tidied it once, as it had been a storehouse once, there are many things lying around. We're searching here? Nah, brace yourself, P. Now let's get started. Are you ready, Rika and Mayu? Hmm. Yes, senpai. Gah, there's nothing here. <laughs> All we find is the same as what we found when we were cleaning. Junk, junk, and more junk. I find myself getting worked up and screaming at the ceiling with all my might. Hey, how about you start moving those hands instead of those lips? <laughs> that's my line. You can't even use your hands. Well, that's because I'm a simple rabbit. Ah, shame on me. If I could only use these hands, then I'd be able to help. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> P, P. What is it? Found a strange book. What is this? Just what are you reading? Ah! Once it's opened, it's unmistakable. Unmistakably a dirty magazine. <laughs> on top of that, it looks like a vintage magazine that has been dropped on some riverbanks. It looks like it could fetch a premium price. But it's not really up to my taste. <laughs> so what is it? Uh, um, it might be a health and physical education textbook, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm, so it has nothing to do with the scroll? The pages seem to be stuck together with something like glue. Um, that's not glue. <laughs> Just put that down right now. <laughs> Once I wrestle the book off Rika, I quickly throw it into the trash can. Phew, who would leave something like that lying around? It's inexcusable. I'll come back for it later. <laughs> Senpai, I found something amazing. Look. Time to start season 2, chapter 1, part 10 of 11. And we'll use the story ticket. It's probably trash. Just throw it out. Wait, a clay figure? From where? From inside that cardboard box. There are a few bronze swords in there too. Why would such an archaeological asset be underneath that mountain of trash? What should I do with this discovery? Put it back. It's too much responsibility for us. <laughs> what? Okay, sigh. Maya seems to have become a bit dispirited after all. We checked the trash out that we had found during the cleaning together at the end, which means that if the scroll was among the garbage, Maya would have already found it. It should be here, right? P probably. Probably? Um, well, as I was told, was that it would be in the school. I just thought that this was where most of the stranger things were gathered, so so you thought that it might be mixed in with this stuff? At least it's better not to find anything after a search than to not search and miss it completely. That's fine, but if we don't stop the search now, it looks like the sun will go down. So what should we do? Ah, another box! Right, the top one! While well, I'm deep in thought, my reaches towards a cardboard box, packed into the wall. What? However, her hands not reaching their destination, she hops like a rabbit, trying to reach its food. Wah! Mayu! The boxes begin to fall on top of Mayu's head. Not good. I was thinking too much and ended up a step behind. Dot, dot, dot. Rika drives away the box over Mayu, but they just keep on coming. Gah! Rika swiftly embraces Mayu to protect her. Thanks to that, I have time to make a move. What? I'll get you out of this. I use my ninja strength at full power to grab each girl on either side, carrying them too far forward for the boxes to hit them. Pant, that was close. Rika, are you hurt? No, I'm fine, thank you. Got it. How about you, Mayu? Mayu, what's the matter? How? <laughs> How? Let me explain. Mayu Mayu was moved by seeing a ninja talent such as yours up so close. Oh? It's also the first time that she's even been approached like that by a guy. Mmph! Mmph! <laughs> oh! 
Why would you have to keep saying these things? You're such a jerk, Fu Senpai. <laughs> nice! One inch closer to Mayu. And it's the last part, 11 of 11. And we're out of story tickets, but I should be able to buy one to get that last part of the story. Let's proceed. First things first, let's look into these fallen boxes. Pulling ourselves together, we split the work between the three of us and check the inside of each box. However, there's nothing. Doesn't look like it. There isn't a thing in sight. I don't think that there's anything more in the room that we've already found. I wonder if there's even I wonder if there even is a scroll. Although I hadn't intentionally meant to question it without even having to say anything, Rika looks like she felt the same as me. I don't know, but I have to look. If I don't do this, then I will never be become a full-fledged ninja. Mayu? It's okay. Rika kindly places her hand on Mayu's shoulder. You will definitely be able to become a great ninja. I guarantee it. You'll be fine. Rika, senpai? Hmm. What? Nothing. It's just that I didn't think someone like you would be able to encourage someone so gently. Dot dot dot. <laughs> it's nothing. Shall we go home for today? I stand up and swipe the dust off me. The sun is already setting. Okay, but since I've put you both in danger from tomorrow, I'll... <laughs> ah. What? I poke Mayu on the head and say this. This is a secret just between us three. Yes, please keep it a secret from the others. And let's try again tomorrow. Just us three. Maya looks at me with sparkling eyes. Next to her, Rika gives a great nod. Yes, let's go home. Mayu, and let's look together again tomorrow. Thank you. And with that, our secret search begins. I wonder when it will be th that we find what we're looking for. And it's the chapter roundup. And there you have it. We're in season two. Time for a preview of our next episode. Let's do it. Your host is me, Akari. And also brought to you by Mayu. So it looks like a lot of interesting things happened that I don't know about, hmm? <laughs> uh, mm, I'm sorry, but that's the secret. Yes, yes, I know. You have your reasons. How? <laughs> so what will happen in the next chapter? Take it away, Mayu. Oh, okay. Let's see. Behind the scenes at the club... Three of us are working hard to find a scroll, but we haven't been able to find it. I'm a little worried about my skill as a ninja. What will P-Senpai and Rika-Senpai for helping me on my search do? Next episode, Chapter 2, Ninja Greats and Ninja Failures. Please look forward to it. Ah, Senpai, I was able to say it without stuttering. You did it. Nice one, Mayu. There you have it. Join us next time in Chapter 2, Honors Ninja and Dropout Ninja. What? Sigh, will we ever find that scroll? Don't worry, you'll find it. There's nothing to worry about. You can do it. Yes, you can. Akari Senpai. In next episode, we will start Season 2, Chapter 2, Part 1 of 8. There we go. Alright, we are out of story tickets, and let's get some ninja fighting on. So we're level 10 versus level 11. Let's try to refresh, get a smaller level 31. No, thank you. <laughs> level 11, there we go. That's at least somewhat close. And we probably lost that one. Yep. Alright, it can only get better from now on. Level 10, let's try it. That should be no problem. Victory! One win! <laughs> Level 11. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, maybe, possibly. Loss! Ah! Oh. We are not doing too good. Let's get some recover. Level 4. Let's do that. That should be a win. No problem. 
Perfect. Level 25. No, thank you. Level 3. Let's do it. And look at that. Perfect. Level 13. Let's refresh. Level 23. Let's refresh. Level 14. Let's see if we can win from behind. 186. Holy crap. Victory. Nice. And let's do another recover. Get some more wins under our belt by skipping that one. Let's try to skip that one. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Fighting our twin. That might be possibly a win. Nice. Four wins in a row. Level 12. Let's do it. That should be a win. Perfect. Level 11. Let's go for it. Last win. Hopefully it's a win. <laughs> That looks like a win. Victory! Six wins in a row. Man, we didn't even get a class up or anything. But I will end it there. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked that episode. Season 2 is definitely starting off crazy. And we're in the right direction going for Mayu. So drop a like if you liked that one. Comment below anything you'd like. I love responding to everybody. And as always, catch you guys and girls and everyone later. Peace. As I am deep in thought, a mysterious shadow suddenly jumps down from above the ceiling. What? Oh, new music. Hey, Rika. <laughs> はあ。ほんと、退屈しないな。失礼。ああ